Today we're going to look at a game between Magnus Carlsen and Bill Gates. Yes, Bill Gates played a game of chess with Magnus. To make it fair, Bill Gates got 2 minutes and Magnus played with just 30 seconds. Bill started off the game with pawn to e4 and Magnus did not play e5 trying to set up the scholar's mate and win in 4 moves. But instead he developed the knight to c6 and played d5 going for the Scandinavian defense. This way white takes the pawn, he gets to get the queen out early, he can launch a quick kingside attack. The best way to play the Scandinavian is to use that queen, attack it out, bully the queen wherever the queen goes. Check, do not block with the queen or knight, block with the bishop, goes there, attacking the pawn, do not care, just do your thing, let the pawn die, kick away the queen, and just this way, look at it, queen went from here, to here, to here, to here, all the way there, and you got every single piece out. But Bill did not take the pawn, he decided to protect the pawn by developing the bishop. Not a good choice, by putting the bishop there, this pawn is blocked, he cannot push it and develop this bishop. Magnus did not take the pawn and allow the bishop to the center, instead he got the other pony out double attacking the pawn. Here Bill could have continued developing the knight to protect the pawn or could have played the crazy move pawn push kicking away the knight all the way back. But instead he took the pawn and allowed the queen into the attack. This is what Magnus wanted. Now a good move by Bill developing the knight kicking away the queen. Queen goes there and now Bill follows a basic chess principle that is to castle ASAP. He castled it out, but this was all part of Magnus' plan to make him castle so that the knight, the queen and the bishop can launch an attack. With 20 seconds left on the clock, if you're Magnus here, how would you attack this king? You might say, let's bring the knight here, threaten a mate in one and hope Bill is a dummy, he moves the knight and I get a lucky checkmate. But the problem with this is, why can you simply push the pawn? And even if he takes the knight, the knight always covers this and there is no attack. So Magnus decided to put the bishop to g4 instead, pinning the knight. And this time when the pawn goes to h3 to kick away the bishop, he does not take the knight to take it out, trade all the pieces and get a good looking structure. He played for cheap tricks, putting the pony on e5. Massive blunder. Yes, pawn takes bishop is a free bishop. But the idea is to take back with the g knight. And the threat is to deliver a mate on h2. Who defends the mate? The knight on f3. You'd be surprised to know, white is completely winning. All he needs to do is cover up the king. But how? If you play a dumb move, white will remove the defender, chop off the knight and queen here is a mate. There is no way for white to cover this square. So what white needs to do is make space for the king. So this is the way. This time when the knight takes, white can simply take back and the check is not a problem. The king can simply go to f1 and the king is out. Check, you run. Not only the king is safe, after any random move, white is on the counter attack. Take the pawn, check out the king and attack black. But Bill was not smart enough to figure this out. He saw the bishop, he took it. He saw the pony, he took it. But then, queen to h2. Checkmate and Magnus wins in 9 moves.